think I have some knowledge of Karen. Mm. I've spoken to her. We have shared panels. Mm. I think she's a highly intelligent woman. I think she's knowledgeable. Um, I don't know that there is much in her past that discredits her. I think the question of her withdrawing her funds from FICO because she had um, inside knowledge, I, I don't think that has been determined against her, even though people are unforgiving of such matters. Mm. Yeah? Uh, I don't know that she can change whatever people believe right now about her. But I don't know that, um, yes, that by and large, she she is unsuitable on moral grounds, on intelligence grounds, on loyalty grounds. She's still a member of the PNM. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and she can articulate the issues very thoroughly, very clearly. Uh, and one has to give Jack his jacket and Jim is Jim Boots, right? The lady is quite capable um, in, in relation to her ability to discuss um, the politics of the country, the government of the country. And, and of course, no, no prime minister um, becomes a prime minister without having um, um, people who would advise, advise him on the direction he should take, even though in the final analysis, it is his decision to take in many matters. Point I'm making, you don't want to get back to this, this stage in our history where we used to ask who you go put. You remember those days? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Karen is perfectly suitable to lead the PNM, but she's not going to lead as we expect, as we must expect naturally. She's not going to lead in the same way that Rowley does, but she's quite a, a, a viable alternative to Dr. Keith Rowley.